right now, I'm alone in Sid's apartment with two dogs. Um, <laughs> that was perfect timing, you guys. Good job. I'm dog sitting. But what's wrong? Today was an eventful day. And I'll let you know why. God, was today fucking the longest day in my entire life? This is such like a scatterbrain, just awful intro. I'm painting. I'm painting my favorite little man, Fern. Fern's the best little man. I love him so much. He's the only thing on my mind right now, to be honest, besides everything that happened today, but I'll get to that. Here's the picture I'm referencing. I was supposed to film two other videos today. That didn't happen today. Today was crazy. Basically, the reason why I'm dog sitting, Sydney and her family are dropping her brother off because he's in the military. This morning they were over here and me and Sid were like, okay, we're gonna go get some Starbs. So we went to Starbucks, went to the store. On our way back into the apartments, guess who we found? Take a little guess. You'll never guess it. We found a dog. So here we were with this dog, and Sydney's dogs aren't necessarily the most fond of other creatures. <laughs> Basically, Sid's mom was like, you can't take the dog in the house. So I was like, I'm not leaving her, like I have to do something about it. Brooklyn, Sydney, her mom, her brother left. And I was stuck with this dog in my car, who I couldn't take up to the apartment. But you know what I did? Because I am a stinky little bitch, I took her up here and I put her on the balcony. It was fine. I was so upset because I wanted to bring her in here, but I, I knew I couldn't. I was like, if I don't find the owner, I have to take her to a shelter. She was on the balcony for two hours. I got her some food, got her some water. Sydney's family doesn't know that this dog is in their apartment. I have to be watching the dogs because the dogs have really bad separation anxiety. I was like, I don't know how I'm going to take her before Sid's family gets home. So that's where Mr. Brayden Hamlin comes in. He fucking saved my life basically and he watched the dogs while I took her to the shelter. I've never been that sad. It felt like I was giving my pet up for adoption. It was the worst feeling in the world. I cried the whole entire way. Sadly, I wasn't able to find their owner, but I only had her for two hours, so. It was really sad, but the shelter was nice and they have like this really big adoption center and pets who don't get adopted go into foster care. I wasn't worried. Plus, I knew she had an owner. I just didn't know how to find the owner. I loved her so much. She was the best girl in the world. Yeah, that's what I've been dealing with since basically I woke up. Besides that, everything was fine. Um, besides what had happened a couple hours ago, like I said, Sid's dogs have really bad separation anxiety. I'm not strong enough to walk them both. So while I was taking one of the dogs outside, I have to put uh, the other dog in the bedroom. <laughs> My god, I, I genuinely can't believe today is real. I put Link in the bedroom while I was taking Java out to go to the bathroom. I came back to take Link out and the door was locked. The fucking bedroom door was locked. And it's not one of those where you can just put a butter knife in and turn it. It's one of those that requires a bobby pin, a paper clip. You're also dealing with a bad bitch who really doesn't know how to do anything. I didn't know how to open the door with a bobby pin. I was trying for hours. You know what I even did? I even tried to rip the doorknob off. Um, there are dents in it. It's awful. It was awful. He was locked in there for an hour. And like I mentioned before, Link has the worst separation anxiety. So as you can imagine, he was screaming and stomping. I don't think the downstairs neighbors were that happy. There was a little issue. In the bedroom, there was a window and this window was open. Mind you, we are on the second story. It did have a screen. So this whole time Link was stuck in there, I was fucking terrified of him breaking out of that window. I feel like if he saw another dog or another person, he'd want to go like run and get them. Cause it was just like in this state of panic. He was going crazy in there. Here's what I got so far. Just wanted to update y'all. God, I am focusing so hard that I just stopped telling the fucking story. Here's what I got so far. So cute. I was terrified of him jumping out because deep down I just had a feeling that that would happen. I called Sydney and I was like, hey, I don't know how this happened, but Link locked himself in the bedroom. So it was like, 
Okay, my mom's gonna call maintenance. Maintenance? If you're watching maintenance, you need to fucking respond to your phone because one hour of a dog screaming and barking and stomping and literally tearing up the carpet was not fun. Not fun at all. They called maintenance and they were like, yeah, they didn't answer. Just see what you can do. Just hold on tight. And I was like, no, you don't understand. The window's open. The window is open. I have really big feeling he's gonna fucking jump out of that window and I'm not gonna know what to do. So an hour goes by. And I was like, you know what? I'm tired. My back still hurts from trying to rip a doorknob off. I'm gonna eat something. So I made me some food and I hear a knock at the door. And I'm like, hmm, who could that be? And I thought it was downstairs neighbors. So I was like, fuck, I don't have the energy to get yelled at. I hear a lovely little man yell maintenance like i put my food down it sprinted i ran i was probably louder than link in that moment so i opened the door for him and i was like there's a dog locked in there i don't want him to get aggressive with you so please don't open the door he just came in unlocked it it took two seconds <sighs> oh my god i didn't even tell you the actual part that i was getting at i walked into the room and i noticed that the carpet is really torn up <laughs> God, it's bad. I feel bad, but at the same time, I know it's not my fault. I saw the carpet, and then I noticed something a little strange. The screen was knocked off. The fucking screen was knocked off. The window was wide open, and the screen was two stories below us. If maintenance came, seriously, a minute later he would have jumped out the window because I was going to eat my fucking food and watch YouTube and just be like, everything will be okay, haha, <laughs> nothing bad's gonna happen to the Kennedys. Something bad did happen to the Kennedys and I was almost responsible for my girlfriend's dog's death. Cause everyone was telling me like, Keely, you don't need to worry. He's not going to jump out of that window. Like, just keep him near the door and everything will be okay. I'm just so glad that Manas came when they did because he would have jumped out. You guys, I don't think you understand the emotional turmoil I have experienced today. I didn't think that today would go like this, honestly. Lizzo has been stuck in my head for the past two days. Maybe it's just been a day. I don't know time anymore. I put the scene in single. I bet I'm gonna get copyrighted for that just because I'm so good at singing. This is Mr. Friend so far. What a little baby, man. I can't get over how cute he is. In this apartment, the bedroom window, there's a banner that hits it. Like a banner that the apartment complex put up to be like, hey, come live here. It hits the fucking window and it scares me every single time without fail. It is fucking horrifying. I'm kind of losing my mind. I put the same in single. What a little man. The colors aren't perfect. What do you expect from me? I don't fucking know colors he's a little cutie green man he's my favorite little man in the world besides brayden hamlin look how good he looks i need to align him again and fix his little mushroom i'm gonna let this dry and i'll show you all the final product i do think i'm gonna end this video here i really enjoyed just like sitting down and talking and painting like it was so fucking therapeutic thank y'all for hanging out with me after this weird and stressful day i love you all bye guys